What's up gamers? I'm John. And this is my level up news where I bring you news every weekday. The top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Thursday, June 13th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up for today's news. In Ubisoft's upcoming game, Star Wars Outlaws, players will explore a richly detailed open world galaxy as K Vaz, a charismatic scoundrel accompanied by her helpful companion Nyx. The game features a blend of gunplay, stealth mechanics, space dogfights, and platforming. Players can experience missions that include escaping Imperial ships, platforming through dialect vessels, and infiltrating enemy bases. The immersive world with its bustling crime hubs and retrofuturistic autistics is filled with Star Wars lore, and players can interact with various factions affecting Kay's reputation. With engaging gameplay and a vibrant setting, Star Wars Outlaws promises an exciting adventure for fans. Are you ready to dive into the galaxy? Share your thoughts down below. Dragon Age The Veil Guard seems to be a far cry from its CRPG roots, resembling more of a Mass Effect game, which highlights BioWare's struggle to stay connected with its RPG fanbase. Despite BioWare's efforts to evolve, the game's demo and gameplay reveals suggest a departure from the thoughtful tactical combat and rich role-playing elements that defined its predecessors. Instead, The Veil Guard offers a cinematic but forgettable action experience, lacking the complexity and depth that modern gamers crave. The current gaming landscape, vibrant with revived genres like CRPGs and adventure games, proves that players are ready for integrated systems and rich storytelling. Bioware's inability to adapt could mark the end of an era, unless they pivot back to the engaging player-driven experiences that once made them be loved. It's time for Bioware to listen to its fans and embrace the complexity and depth that defined truly great RPGs. Bethesda's latest update to Starfield, which introduced the creation kit for mod support and the creation store for purchasing mods, has sparked significant backlash amongst players. Reminiscent of the 2006 controversy over charging for horse armor, players are now review bombing Starfield on Steam. While the new Bounty Hunter quest and the upcoming Shattered Space DLC expansions were highlights at the Summer Games Fest, the paywalls and monetization of the mods have angered the community. Players argue that modding should be free, community-driven efforts to extend a game's life, not a business opportunity for Bethesda. A frustrated Steam reviewer accused Bethesda of exploiting modders for profit, highlighting the widespread sentiment that the company is out of touch with its fan base. Bethesda must first heed these criticisms and reconsider its approach to modding to restore player trust and satisfaction. Voice your opinion and let Bethesda know that modding should remain a community-driven endeavor, not a commercial venture. Your feedback is crucial in shaping the future of Starfield. The newest Valorant map, Abyss, has quickly become a playground for jet mains who are showcasing their unique and inventive plays. Clips from the Abyss only queue highlight the creative strategies that jet players are employing, from using her slow fall ability to run out the time in a 1v1 scenario to performing impressive aerial maneuvers. In one Reddit clip, a jet uses the long fall time in the map's gap to avoid an opponent and win the round by default. Another clip demonstrates a team effort involving a sage wall and a res blast pack to propel Jet across the map for a surprise kill. Mobile agents like Jet, Rez, Omen, and Yuru are thriving in Abyss, but even less mobile agents can find clever ways to navigate the map with strategic jumps. While the Abyss meta is still developing and is currently limited to shift play, it's clear that Jet will play a significant role. Following the Xbox Showcase on June 9, 2024, Starfield has expanded significantly with the introduction of Creation Suites, which offers both official and community mods that are easy to search and install directly into the game. Despite mixed feelings after a 150-hour binge last year, the ease of adding visual and gameplay tweaks through this new system might just pull people back in. Mods have transformed the game, making environments darker and more immersive and even restoring Earth's biome to a more vibrant state. The potential for these mods to turn Starfield into a galaxy-spanning immersive sim is highly tempting. Dual Destiny, a new mission in Destiny 2's The Final Shape expansion, sparked controversy for requiring two players to complete without matchmaking, frustrating solo players who must use LFG tools or bring a friend. The mission offers a powerful class item combining effects 
of two exotic armors, making it highly desirable. Despite complaints, many praise Dual Destiny as one of Bungie's best ex recent exotic missions with intricate puzzles and significant enemy pressure. After the initial run, solo players can still obtain the item through random drops in the Pale Heart. This debate highlights a divide between casual and experienced players, with the latter appreciating the return of challenging content. The latest Life is Strange game, Double Exposure, announced during the Xbox Game Showcase, offers a unique early access feature with its Ultimate Edition, priced at $80. This edition allows players to access the first two chapters two weeks before the official release on October 29th. While early access for premium editions is common, offering such extensive early access is unusual for a non-free-to-play game. This early access could pose a challenge for fans trying to avoid spoilers, especially in a story-driven game like Life is Strange. However, only chapters 1 and 2 are available early, the rest unlock at the full launch date. The Ultimate Edition also has 5 outfits and a pre-order bonus, while the Standard Edition is $50 and the Deluxe Edition is $60. Double Exposure continues Max Clearfield's story as she navigates parallel timelines to prevent a murder. To prepare for the upcoming Final Fantasy XIV expansion, Dawn Trail, director and producer Yoshi P suggests completing the Myths of the Realm raid series and remembering the names of the Convocation of the XIV. The Myths of the Realm is highly regarded as one of the best raid series in the game, making it essential for any player gearing up for the new content. As for the Convocation of the Fourteen, many members are dead, while others have unknown whereabouts. Gaia and Asmin are still active, with Gaia adventuring and Asmin being the player's character. The latest Helldivers 2 patch brings significant updates including improvements to the Galactic War Table, Weapon and Stratagem Rebalancing, and introductions of invite-only lobbies. Notable changes include an 80% durability boost for sentries, reduced cooldowns for various stratagems, and increased damage for anti-personal and incendiary mines. The Eruptor's damage has also increased from 420 to 570 per shot. Arrowhead aims to enhance loadout variety and consistency without reducing power levels. Gameplay tweaks include removing the AA defense modifier, adjusting fire tornadoes and tremors for more randomness and reducing planetary fog. Additionally, supply lines are now visible on the Galactic War Table to improve map readability. Share your thoughts on these changes and how they impact your Helldivers 2 experience in the comments. Last week at the Summer Games Fest, PlayStation's first party studio, Guerrilla Games, announced LEGO Horizon Adventures, surprising many with its inclusion on the Nintendo Switch alongside PlayStation 5 and PC. This marks the first time Horizon appears on a Nintendo system aiming to expand its audience. Narrative director James Wallander explained that the Switch's accessibility aligns with their goal of making the game for everyone, featuring simple control schemes and lighter themes. This strategy seems to be intended to entice Switch owners to eventually purchase a PlayStation 5, echoing PlayStation's CEO Herman Holt's comments about using PC releases to drive interest in PlayStation sequels. With Horizon being a significant franchise for Sony and an adaptation in the works at Netflix, LEGO Horizon Adventures could attract new fans. The game is expected to be released during the holiday 2024 winter. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss any new videos coming out.